Hello everybody and welcome back to another book review. Today I'm here to review Cars 3. And I am so excited to do this book review for you guys because I have just been waiting forever for Cars 3 to just come out. I really, really, really wish that this was the sequel we got instead of Cars 2 because we all know how that turned out. It just wasn't a good movie. If you like that movie, I'm happy you like it because I just can't even stand it. I think the first time I watched that movie, I think I turned it off because I'm like, what happened to this franchise that I remember? It was so good and then they just ruined it. So now we finally got the sequel that we probably should have gotten like a few years back, but they just decided not to do that. Oh, Disney, what are you doing? Uh, anyways, so I decided to review these four books. They're the only... Cars 3 books I have because I wasn't going to pay the money to get all of them because you know Cars the Cars the franchise they have endless amount of merchandise and whatever you buy they just pump out more of so there's endless amount of car stuff so if you ever feel like buying these books don't be afraid you're not going to find them because I'm sure you'll easily find them wherever you go so anyways let's just get started with this book review I have to warn you though this Review has spoilers. Severe spoilers, I may add. So if you do not like spoilers, don't say I didn't warn you and click off now. Of course, after you watch the movie, come back and watch this review because you might like it still. So, just a fair warning. Click off now if you do not like spoilers. So anyways, let's get started with the essential guide because I feel like that would be the most appropriate one to uh, start off with. So this essential guide... Uh, is based on the movie and we kind of get you know the insight of the characters and all that stuff Lightning McQueen and stuff and you're probably wondering what the heck is this well apparently now in this book you get to look inside Jackson Storm and Lightning McQueen I know it's confusing as well I didn't really care for that but I mean if you like cars and you want to you know wonder what the heck their interior is inside there you go have fun um, anyways we get little bios of the characters. You get to look inside of McQueen and all the mechanics, his engine, his wheels, the gears and such. We got the piston cup and they probably talk about it a little bit. Here we have Jackson Storm, the next gen racer. Uh, he is Lightning McQueen's new rival for this movie. And if you thought uh, Chick Hicks was bad, you haven't seen him. Uh, uh, Jackson Storm is definitely much more faster than McQueen, and I think he does have a lot more experience because he uses, like, simu uh, simulators now for his training. And Lightning McQueen is, you know, has always done it on the racetrack. Well, you know, he doesn't even have to go on the racetrack. He just, you know, does a simulator, and then, boom, when he's ready to race, he's ready to go. But Lightning McQueen is definitely having a harder time keeping up with the next gen, so he definitely needs a lot more training to figure out how he can beat Jackson Storm. And this is Natalie Sertan. I think that's how you say her name. I am probably correctly wrong, so I'm sorry. Uh, she is an analyst, so she likes to analyze the racers by numbers and facts, and she knows everything about racing, and if you ever need to know the stacks or anything about racing, she can hook you up. And she does a lot of analyst analyzing, so that's her thing. And here we have the Rusty's Training Academy. I haven't read a whole lot about this, but I think when uh, Lightning McQueen be started to become a really big racer, uh, I think that the Rusty's new founder, this guy... Uh, Sterling bought the Rusty's training facility and made it, and I think it is, uh, you know, to train new racers who want to start racing. And this is Cruz Ramirez. She is Lightning McQueen's new mentor, and she helps Lightning McQueen kind of, you know, teach him about the new kind of technology and the new kind of next gens and what he should maybe do to improve his racing. And she works as the training academy as a trainer. So she kind of helps Lightning McQueen out with gaining new skills and all that stuff. 
And Lightning McQueen also too helps Cruz with some of her racing because she's you know she's familiar with all the new technology and all the new ways of racing. But I think the older style of racing she doesn't really know. So Lightning McQueen kind of helps her out with that. And we have the Derby, Miss Fritter. I'm not going to get into her. You know, let's just say that she is the top Derby racer, and Lightning McQueen and Cruz kind of have a you know have to beat her. And we also, too, get to see Doc's old town, where he used to grow up and where he used to race. And this is Smokey. Smokey was Doc's old crew chief and taught him everything he knew. And also, too, they kept in touch when uh, Doc uh, was uh, McQueen's old crew chief. So, you know, he really, they really had a good relationship. And this is some of the old racers that Doc used to verse, the older time cars... So they probably teach Lightning McQueen a couple of new stuff too. So that's just a little bit about uh, Cars 3. Yes, this if you this does have spoilers. So if you already uh, went through this entire book, then, well, I'm sorry, but you should have listened to me before. Okay, so this book relotates for... Da-da-da-da! Focus, please! Twelve ninety nine in the U.S. and sixteen ninety nine in Canada. So I spent a lot of time explaining this book, so I'm going to be a little bit quicker with the other books. Let's get started with this one. This one is a double-sided book of uh, Jackson Storm and Cruz Ramirez. And with both of the side of these books, they kind of talk about uh, the different... Uh, different sides of each character, like Jackson Storms, you know, they focus on him a little bit more on the side, and it's still based on the movie, and it's really cool. I like reading about this and about Lightning McQueen's uh, rival, and I think he's really cool, and I'm not sure. I, I'm i kind of tied between the two of deciding who's better, Cruz Ramirez or Jackson Storm. And this is Cruz Ramirez, and Cruz is not really based on, like, the movie storyline. It's just about her experience of racing and how she kind of gained new knowledge of racing. And yeah, there is spoilers if you haven't gotten it yet. So yeah, that's kind of this book. If you kind of like want to learn about, you know, maybe hear about their stories a little bit more from their perspective, definitely get this book. This one real taste from $5.99 in the US and $7.99 in Canada. And then we have a sticker book. And this sticker book is pretty cool. It's like your standard sticker book of DK. Uh, you have the stickers in the middle of the book. And then you have uh, a little title thing right there. And then you kind of just match the stickers with the text. It's pretty straightforward. If you like stickers and stuff and you like Cars 3, definitely get this book. Because I think it would be, you know, pretty cool. And blah, blah, blah. This one relotates for the da, da da. Where the heck is the text? Six ninety nine in the U S. and eight ninety nine in Canada. So yeah, definitely get this book if you like stickers and all that other top stuff. <laughs> now I saved this one for last because I think this one is my most favorite book out of all three of them. But it is the guidebook to the the new Cars movie. And we actually get to see a little bit more info about the characters from uh, all the Cars movies. It's not just uh, Cars 3, even though there's more Cars 3 characters and hardly ever Cars 2, because we just want to forget that. So you kind of get to see more of the text and more of the information about these characters. That is a huge spoiler, so sorry. I keep saying sorry, but honestly, if you're watching this when it's spoiling, I'm just, I'm just, I'm prepared, okay? I really like the new characters that they came out with. And we got some old characters, too. However, some characters from the second movie didn't make it into this book. Like, um, Finn McMissile did not make it in. I don't know why they didn't add him in here, but I just noticed that he wasn't in here. Most of the cars from the other guy book I have, from Cars 2 and Cars 1, that one is a little bit more better when it comes to like getting all the characters. But then this one, they kind of missed a couple, but I mean, that 
it's, it happens. So definitely get this one if you like characters and you want more character uh, profiles. Because honestly, I think everybody likes the characters the most in the Cars universe. Well, definitely. If you didn't like Cars in the Cars universe, then what the heck are you doing watching Cars? So that's just kind of a quick uh, glimpse of this book. They made so many... Um, of these types of books. So if you don't really necessarily like this one, there's maybe another one that you could pick up, but I'm not too sure how easy it will be to find. You know, you could always find it on Amazon or something. So this book really tastes for about the same price as the Essential Guide. twelve ninety nine in the US and thirteen ninety nine in Canada. So that's kind of it, guys. Thank you so much again for all of your past support over these last couple of months. I can't believe I can say this, but we're almost at 100 subscribers. And I've been on YouTube for how many years now? Like, probably like two to three years now. I'm going to say like two years now. And I know that's not a big number at all, and it really isn't compared to YouTube standards today and these days. But honestly, just for you taking the time to just subscribe and just like the video and even disliking and leaving a comment it's just so amazing of how much support and how much you guys actually like this review the number one book review that i think i've gotten more attention on and more comments on is the overwatch review and i had so much fun making that one i didn't really know a whole lot of going into that book review and i didn't really know a whole lot about overwatch so i just kind of winged it and you know, I think I did an okay job, but this time I'm going to try to look at the books ahead of time and pick out key, um, key factors of the books and just kind of stay true to the book review and try to give as much information as you guys, or as I can for you guys. Because I know sometimes it's hard when you want to buy books and, you know, they're not always you know, you want to know what you're buying before you purchase it. So I'm happy to go out and spend my money and show you guys what you may be interested in. And, you know, I hope that this helped you. And I can't wait for Cars 3 and maybe I'll do a review on Cars 3. Heck, if you want me to do movie reviews, I'll do movie reviews. Uh, I really would like to hear your guys' suggestions of what other reviews you would like me to do. Uh, vlogging. I'm not a big fan of vlogging because I don't really want to, you know, my personal life right now, I just don't want, you know, the camera to invade my personal life and right now in my life it's not a good time to film my life because nothing's really happening. So give me suggestions of what type of reviews you would like to see and what kind of genres you like to see and I'll do them because I'm kind of running out of ideas. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for your, all your support. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much for all the support you've given me. And I'll see you all in the next review.